Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Hammy here. I'm bringing you another video today. Today we're going to be talking about the new update that came out today. The new weapons hot fix. It's a pretty substantial fix to a lot of, a lot of different guns. But before we get into all that, we got some pretty exciting news last night. If you weren't around in last night's stream or didn't see today's stream, we uh, uh, were awarded with the number one account again. Check it out. It says we're number six, but if you go in here and check us out on leaderboards, we are officially right now back in the number one spot. That's really, really exciting to me because that's what our channel blew up on, or at least gained a audience for, was being number one on the Call of Duty World War II leaderboards. Now, all of these people in front of us are clear boosters. If you know anything at all about leaderboards, you will know that for sure. And there's no real argument to be made that if they are or are not. And we are ahead of everyone else that people say are legit. So as of right now, we are the official number one legit Call of Duty World War II leaderboard player. Okay, so this was the hotfix with it tweaked weapon balances and a, little, a few map changes. It was on January 18th, 2017. So this is a pretty good update for sure. Uh, it tweaked six guns here. Some pretty good changes. So it's going to be a shorter video today, but that being aside, I'll top right into... Uh, these tunes here. Now the first gun that got an update to it was the FG42. This gun was really good before and they nerfed it this last update and com made it almost completely useless. They made it kick a bunch and really really slow in the fire rate. Now in this update the patch notes say uh, they had a recoil buff which means the recoil is less and a slight fire rate buff, so the fire rate's back up. So this gun's pretty similar to how it was before. We'll go ahead and check it out here. This is with rapid fire. This gun hardly kicks at all now. Look at this. It's absurd, dude. This gun has like no recoil now. This is not con this is not controlling the recoil at all. It's literally straight up like the M1 carbine or M1 Grand, sorry. This thing hardly kicks at all. It's super, super manageable. You can see here at range. It has like no side to side. It's kind of hard to get used to after playing so long with it having a whole bunch of recoil. Uh, that was with rapid fire. We can take off rapid fire. See the fire rate buff. I mean, it shoots pretty quick now. This is faster than it was before they buffed it this time with rapid fire. With no recoil, this gun's really good now. It's right back to almost where it was, I think. Now the next gun that they touched up on a little bit was the grease gun. I really don't know why this gun seemed like it was an alright gun. It served its uh, role pretty well. But the patch notes for this gun were they had a recoil adjustment to give player more control and a ADS transition time buff. So it's ADS is faster and its recoil is easier to control. Let's go ahead and check it out, see how it does. Kicks up pretty a decent amount but it's still it's straight up so it's pretty easy to handle you can easily since it shoots so slow you can, you can control it really easily uh, go ahead and throw on grip see how it does with grip this gun hardly kicks at all man it has like no recoil now all right let's check out the ads time wow that is snappy that is like instant so it's Bad boy aims down sight fast now. This thing's gonna be a beast in hardcore now. That class right here is gonna be a beast. Um, let's see, uh, with rapid fire on it, see how it handles with that, with grip. Thing shoots quick too. So that seems like it's gonna be a pretty good gun now. Much less recoil, super fast ADS time. Pretty good gun. Probably one of the better subs now. I don't think it's going to dethrone the PPSH. It still doesn't kill as fast at, at, at range as the PPS does, does by any means, but a definitely more viable gun now, for sure. Now, this is definitely the most controversial, the probably the biggest impact that people are going to have. It's either you're going to love this nerf or hate this nerf. It's going to be one of the two. Uh, they severely decrease the ADS transition time. 
for the car 98 yes there's no more annoying shotgun like quick scoping at close range with this gun it's much more uh much more in line with like the springfield or the leonfield now uh this is such a good uh, update such a good fix in my opinion this gun was so broke with its uh this quick scoping at close quarters it was almost like a shotgun just running around picking this bad boy up now it's much more in line with the other guns this is just an absolutely amazing just an amazing nerf they needed it so bad I still see people using it plenty just fine. The only thing it's going to do for you is make your shots a little more accurate because you have to take more time. But I mean, this is, all that aside, I think this is where it needs to be. It was a high damage sniper rifle that needed to be a little more slow. And another much needed buff was the old Lee Enfield, my favorite sniper in the game. Uh, this gun was really, really slow. Like, probably the slowest ADS of any sniper ever. Now it's, uh, really quick. This is a very quick ADS. It's a big, big buff. This ADS is probably twice as fast. It's much more similar to the Car 98 now. It's a, uh, a good running gun, a high skill gun, I'd say. I don't know, it's... It's probably one of the better snipers in my opinion now. It has your aim assist, so it makes it really easy to use. And has a fast ADS time. With uh, no recoil. Very little idle sway. This is without uh, ballistic... Uh, whatever, ballistic CPU, whatever it's called in this game. I don't know. I never see people running it, but... You can uh, also run... A little tip. If you don't want to run... Ballistic... What's it called? Ballistic calibration. If you don't want to use this attachment, say you want to use your normal extended mags and rapid fire you can always go in here and throw on the scoped perk and it does the exact same thing well it used to let's see if it still does i'm pretty sure it does it used to do the same thing unless they changed that i could have put a hustle back on here for that quick quick reload Uh, I guess it doesn't do the same thing anymore. Never mind. I guess my tip's flawed. It used to do the same thing. And one of the really controversial uh, buffs from the last update that most people were just really despised with in this game was the combat shotgun, how they buffed it so much. Uh, this update, they had a slight max damage range nerf. So it's how far you could deal the max damage is now a shorter range but they still kept the buff that they gave it last time to this overall range like why this gun does not need it it did not need the nerf in the first place this gun is severely overused and those incendiary shotgun rounds still kill you just as fast as they did before this buff or this nerf so this gun's still really obnoxious i hope that People make videos talking about this gun and how they nerfed it and just maybe since it said combat shotgun nerfed that uh, people will stop using it. Uh, it's, it was so used, I think, before, not because how good it was, but just because how people were talking about how it was buffed and I uh, got this bad word for itself. I really don't think it was that great before and it's not going to be any better or worse now than it was before. Uh, so that's a minor minor nerf to a gun that need to be touched a little more i think i'm moving on to the biggest change of this update by far the biggest buff of any gun this update was a sawed off shotgun uh, if you've ever tried this gun at all you know it's just absolutely atrocious i did a lot of different things to it let's get through it here uh the max and mid-range damage range was buffed so you can deal your max damage at a further distance and your mid-range so it's just gonna going to deal a significant amount more damage more consistently uh the number of pellets to kill was buffed so you don't have to hit as many shot pellets of each shot to kill somebody and uh the hip fire spread was decreased uh the re reload time is much faster now oh i'm sorry the hip fire spread was nerfed not buffed i apologize for that so now you're going to reload faster, but your hip fire is going to be 
Oh, I had a, a larger size, which makes sense since they sawed off shotgun, the barrel shorter, your spread would be more. So that makes sense. Let's check out the spread here. So that's pretty big. I believe, doesn't this gun get a... Oh yeah, this gun gets a increase when you ADS. Also. So this gun got a pretty big nerf. Maybe, maybe this gun will be usable now in core. I don't know. We'll have to find out. I'm probably not going to try it because I doubt it'll be any good. Let's probably just make it uh, better in hardcore because you can reload faster. Is that with hustle? Let's take off hustle here. See uh, what the difference is. Oh, that's a really big increase to its... Or decrease to its reload time. This thing used to be so slow. It was very similar... I think it was slower than this gun. This uh, sawed off. Oh, or I mean double barrel. Come on. There we go. Yeah, it was about the same speed as this. Maybe a little slower. So let's compare the two. See, that's a lot faster. It's pretty cool, man. That, that's a good buff for this gun. It really need to be touched for sure. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope you got all of the patch notes taken care of. And you got all the update hype information solved. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video today. I'll uh, we'll be dropping more content like this in the future. So thanks for watching. This is Hand Me Up.